What is up guys? Welcome back for our third and final game of the GOT uh, group stage. We are up against Brian or Beanast and the Orlando Yellow Magic, which is a team name I really, really like. It's really cool. <laughs> but um, as you can see, my opponent has Mega Sceptile, Sharpedo, uh, Tornadus. Suicune's hard to see, but it is there. Um, regular Metagross, Needle Queen, and there is a Tyrantrum in the back that he did not bring. Very threatening team. Uh, Tornadus looking like the biggest threat to me. Uh, 100%. I do, like, without Heat Ran, I don't have a, fl a, f a flying resist at all on my team. So that thing is very, very scary. This was the game that the most people showed up to. Zazo was in the chat. Uh, so was Ethan. Jose. We were all there. We were all just, uh, I was, I was very lighthearted about this game. Uh, like I had said in the very first, uh, video two days ago, um, the, this game was the one that I prepped for on the fly, uh, and that I was just like, I threw a bunch of sets together, it took me about half an hour to build, and I was done. It was really cool sets. Uh, I ran enough spadef on Golurk to be able to take a Grass Knot from, uh, Tornadus, from Life Orb Tornadus, uh, and guarantee rocks go up. Uh, if he was Taunt, I had Mental Orb. So I needed rocks up this game, because my opponent does not have hazard removal. At all. There is zero hazard removal on his side across his seven Pokemon. So that's perfect. As soon as I got up rocks, I was good to go. But um, I'm going to lead off with Golurk here. Uh, by the way, guys, just before I start, this was the most, um, probably the most scary matchup and the most thrilling. Um, and you guys are going to see that at some point in the match. But I'm going to start it up here. Uh, he's going to lead off with Mega Sceptile, actually, and I'm going to lead off with Golurk, and this is not a good matchup because I am not EV to take a Leaf Storm from this thing. So I'm just going to switch out. I guess he was fearing, like, a Choice Scar for a Rindo Berry Ice Punch, and he's just going to switch out to Suicune as I go into Roserade, which is not bad for me. Uh, he's actually going to go out into Tornadus as I go for a Shadow Ball. Now, I calced Sludge Bomb and had a chance to knock him out, and I also calced Hurricane, which was a dumb thing to do. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sludge Bomb had a chance to take him out. Hurricane had a chance not to take me out. So I just go for the Sludge Bomb, but he acros. <laughs> Gets a crit. It didn't matter at all. The crit did not matter. Uh, I was dead to that. I'm gonna go back into Golurk now, and I'm gonna get up my rocks, as he's actually gonna switch out into a Suicune. Uh, and the last move that I put on this thing was Dynamic Punch, uh, which is kind of cool, because I'm able to get off some, um, some confusions, potentially. So he's gonna go for a Roar. He's gonna Roar me out into Dom, or, uh, Toxicroak. Now, I thought that this could wall this completely, and I'm going to go for Swords Dances. He's going to get a hit, and then I'm going to Taunt, predicting a Roar, but he's actually Extra Sensory Suicune, <laughs> so he was able to hit me, uh, and I didn't even check to see if Suicune could hit me at all. That was very bad prep on my part. Now I'm down 4-6. to six. I bring in Red Eyes, but Red Eyes is actually Zorark, as you guys will see. I go for a Dark Pulse. Uh, actually, no, sorry, I go for a Grass Knot, uh, predicting the Suicune to stay in. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse, uh, activate the Cobra Berry, and we're gonna get a Clutch Flinch right here. This is actually really important because we're Sash Zoroark. So I'm gonna be able to knock out this Metagross right here. It didn't do anything this game, which is awesome. Uh, he's now gonna go out into his Sceptile, uh, and I think just go for the Leaf Storm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and we are gonna get hit pretty hard with that, but I am gonna be able to go for a Dark Pulse. I'm not sure if I had a U-turn or not, I can't remember. Uh, but we're gonna knock this Sceptile down pretty low, and I'm just gonna attack again, honestly. I'm just gonna go for uh, another Dark Pulse, I believe. Uh, no, I'm actually gonna switch out. I can serve this as Death Fodder, and I'm gonna go out into For Alligator, as he actually pulls out a switch into Suicune. I don't know if he predicted me to be Scarf, but I'm actually Scarfed. Uh, and he's gonna take a good chunk from that. Um, now... It's a pretty bad situation for me. Uh, I don't have anything that deals with this Suicune necessarily. So I'm going to go out into Berrigan, the uh, Golurk. Going to take the Scald. Uh, I'm going to go for Dynamic Punch because it's my best play. Uh, as he goes for another Scald, he actually gets the burn on this turn. Uh, so my Dynamic Punch is not going to be doing as much. Only does 10%. We do get the Confusion, of course. And uh, now he's going to be able to, um, I think, hit himself on this turn. Yep. And we just go for an Ice Punch here. Uh, hoping for a freeze, I guess. It didn't really matter. I was also trying to catch potentially the Tornadus on the Switch uh, or the Nido Queen. Um, and I'm just going to go out into Zorark again. I'm going to go for Grass Knot once again. And we're going to be able to knock out this um, this Tornadus right here. As he's going to now go out into Nido Queen. Uh, and I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse, but this thing has Sucker Punch. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. 
Uh, now I'm down to two Pokemon. For Alligator and Latios. How do I win this game, guys? I don't think it's looking good. Uh, I'm gonna go out into for Alligator. I'm gonna go for a Waterfall. We're Scarfed. We knock out the Needle Queen. He doesn't even go for Sucker Punch. Cool. I don't take any damage. That's not a good thing. He's gonna go out into Suicune. I'm gonna go for Waterfall. I am uh, Sheer Force. I cannot flinch him at all. Let me tell you guys, for the first time in Pokemon ever, I believe, I was praying so hard for this Suicune to get a burn. I get a crit right there. That's not helping my case. He's going to go for Scald. Uh, still no burn. I'm going to go for another Waterfall. Um, he's going to go for another Scald. Still no burn. Nope. <laughs> still no burn. I'm going to Waterfall again. Bring this thing down to 8% as he's going to go for another Scald. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out into my Latios. And he goes for a Roar. Which works out. And let me, let me, let me tell you why. Because now I can go for Ice Punch. <laughs> and guaranteed not knock out this uh, Suicune. As he goes for a Scald, I live on one. <laughs> Come on. Knock me out. This is all I want is for him to knock me out. And I said it in the chat. And I said, uh, I messed up. Sharpedo wins, I think. Just to make him think that I didn't have anything left. But I'm going to go into Latios, and I wish I could show you guys right here, but I don't think I can. Maybe if I zoom out on the screen, um, I don't think that's helping. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, we're just going to leave it like this. But anyway, Jose in the chat said, he said something. I'm not even going to say what it is, but after he said it, I clicked a move, and he... And I, I told him to say it again, and to say it again, <laughs> and over and over, and that was reveal DD Lottie, and that is exactly what my Latios is, it is Dragon Dance, and I was able to weaken the Suicune to a point where it will go down to a Dragon Claw. Now I just have to play around Sharpedo, and it's Protects. So here I should have been a little more ballsy, knowing that my opponent has to go for a Protect, even a, possibly a double Protect to win. I probably should have gone for the Dragon Dance again. But if he predicted me to do that and went for a crunch, I was in a very bad position. Uh, either way, I had to um, get uh, a low roll on his crunch to live. So maybe in retrospect, it was a good play in case he got the double protect. But there's a lower likelihood of him getting double protect than him going for a crunch straight away. Like him going for crunch without protecting is a lot more likely in my head than him double protecting and getting it. So I'm just gonna go for Dragon Claw, he's gonna protect. Uh, obviously we're not gonna be able to hit it. We, we are 318 speed, we outspeed any variant of this. Uh, he gets the plus one speed, we're still faster. I'm gonna go for another Dragon Claw, but he gets the double protect. And now it comes down to a roll on crunch, guys. And uh, unfortunately, uh, our days in our own league, the GOT, are done. Psych! Latios lives on three, goes for the Dragon Claw, knocks out the Sharpedo. The Suicune is not shiny. It does not have extreme speed. We are clicking Dragon Claw, and we are now 2-1 in the GOT with a plus one record in the group stage. There is still a chance that I do not advance to the next round. But it is a very, very small chance, and a very specific uh, order of operations has to happen in the two remaining matches. At the time that I'm recording this, which is on Saturday evening, uh, all matches have to be done by su uh, Sunday the 27th, which at the time of you watching this has already gone by. So I already know if I've, if I've advanced or not, and I'm going to be having my games, uh, if I did, of course. But, um, yeah. But right now, while I'm recording this, I have no idea whether I'm making it or not. But this gives us a great chance. With a 2-1 record, plus 1, we have a good shot. And if it wasn't for that second game and all those living on 1s and uh, missing Magma Storms... I haven't hit a Magma Storm, by the way, guys. I went for 3 this whole tournament. I missed all 3. I'm 0-3 and three on Magma Storms so far. But yeah, um, we have a very good shot at advancing into the next round. Now the problem is... 
the way that Johnny set this up, I have to play the winner, if, even if I advance, I have to play the winner or runner-up of group one. Let me just show you guys who's in group one real quick. So, we have our quarterfinals GPC opponent, Merc. He changed his name for this tournament for his team, and he's the Burger Kingler. Here we have the Tennessee Tynamos, coached by Redithan or Ethan. You guys should know him by now. Our Week 10 opponent from the GPC. And the Detroit Butterfree is coached by Zazo or Iron Flash Gaming. Uh, and that was our Week 4 opponent in the GPC. So, Johnny has basically put me in a position where... I mean, it's not his fault, but... Uh, where I have to take on one of the three players, uh, the only player out of these three that I had did not beat in the GPC was Merc. Uh, and if Ethan wins both of his games, uh, and I end up first in the division, um, in my group, then I would have to play Merc. And I am not looking forward to playing this team right here. Megalopony, Titar, Talonflame, Heracross, Sandslash, Rotom Mo. <laughs> this does not look good at all. Um, Ethan's team is also quite threatening. Let me just scroll over here to the right for you. Uh, this is, um, the Iowa Empoleons don't have a chance of making, uh, it into the next round, so that's why I, uh, am not covering their team. But Ethan has a Jirachi, Keldeo, Haxorus, Whimsicott, <laughs> Mega Pidgeot. Uh, that's not fun either. And Zazo just has a weird team. <laughs> Mew, Nido, he's really good with Mew, by the way. Uh, Nino King, Charizard X, Alamomola, Ditto, Tangela, and Licky Licky. I saw him use Mew really well today against Shoddy, uh, in a, in a different, uh, I think it was League Wars, uh, like NPL versus PPL, and, um, yeah, he used this thing brilliantly. He ran a, a Calm Mindset with Ice Beam, Psychic, uh, it was really cool, anyway. Um, he won with it, so I know what he can do with it. Um, I do have a couple of checks to Mew, I'm not too scared of it. But yeah, so this is uh, this is our competition, guys. Very, very scary people. Um, I'm kind of wanting to not make it into the next round, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, just because, there's, this is another thing, I don't want to win my own tournament. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to play my hardest. I'm going to prep as well as I can. But my intention, well, I mean, I would love to win for you guys, but at the same time, I don't want to win something that I started, you know, because it's just like I invited 31 other people to be part of this and like if so, if one of the 31 doesn't win, I, I just feel bad, you know, it's like as if it's, it's like if I did a giveaway for Sun and Moon and I won the giveaway, <laughs> like I got a bunch of people to subscribe to me uh, to try to win a giveaway and uh, Let's randomize the winner, and the winner is Aster J. That's me. I won the copy. <laughs> like that's that's kind of how I feel about it. So I don't necessarily want to win. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Uh, what was this? Oh, this is uh, Anthony Steen. Um, yeah. Uh, that's gonna do it, guys. Um, Red Eyes Megalodius coming through with uh, three kills at the end. There uh, is now up to four kills in this uh, in this league, I believe. Uh, let's actually just check our uh, our score sheet. Um, let's check ours here. We have the three teams that we faced. Uh, let's see our kills and deaths. Uh, you guys probably can't even see that. Um, can I zoom out here? No, I can't. So if I add... Uh, no, that's not going to help. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys what it is. You can see the kills. You can't see the deaths. Um, Heatran is 0-2, of course. That's from Missing Magma Storms. Uh, <laughs> Latios is 3-1. and uh, Roserade is 4-2, and which is spectacular. Uh, Stark, our Zoroark, is 3-2. and Halibel is 3 and 2. Berrigan is 0 and 2, but this is more a, su a support Pokemon, excuse me. And Dom is 1 and 2. So, not too bad overall. Um, I think we did a good job so far, and uh, I hope we can keep it up. I don't know what this line is, and it won't go away. It's really, it's really annoying me. Anyway, guys, if you didn't enjoy uh, our run through the uh, group stage uh, against these three teams, and if you're looking forward to seeing if we make playoffs uh, or the the uh, round of 16 and so on afterwards. Make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys, um, well, as far as this series goes, I'll catch you guys uh, if we actually make it and uh, in the round of 16. So, ciao!